so I'm back with my um, prep video so this is literally just the way I do my prep there is no nails in this video well there is nails <laughs> clearly there's nails um, but there is no acrylic nails in this video so this is just the prep that I've separated for you so then I can just keep it there in my uploads and if anyone needs to see how I do prep because I don't always add it into my videos um, and then you'll be able to go and have a look so um, my clients already washed their hands I've just sprayed a sanitizer and I am just using my cuticle pusher to gently push back the cuticle. Um, this is a Born Pretty cuticle pusher. I've had it quite a long time. Um, where did I buy it? I think it was like eBay or something but yeah it was um, brand new and it was pretty cheap and it's shiny so why not? Now that that bit's done, I get my fine sanding band. Um, I use this on a really, really low speed. It is a fine sanding band and I literally tickle over the nail. So I'm just etching the nail plate with that and I'm using literally no pressure whatsoever. If you use pressure, you will burn through the nail. You will cause your client um, some serious discomfort. You will destroy the nail. So literally no pressure whatsoever and I would advise getting e-file training before you do this if you haven't got e-file training then just do this exact same thing with a hand file um, so you're just etching the nail plate taking off the shine um, and that's it that's that's all you're doing with that one tender nails because she bit her last set off the last set wasn't done by me she could have come and sold them off for, um, pretty much for free because this client is my daughter but she didn't she bit them off um, so her nails are quite thin and they are tender and there was a little bit over filed on the tips before so I am being extra extra gentle with these once I've done with my um, sanding band I will then put on my little burbit and the burbit I bought also I think it was from Amazon um, I'll try and find a link for it it's a ceramic um, burbit and I just use that to remove the um, excess cuticle that is on the nail plate if there is any left there it also helps to push back the cuticle as well a little bit more um, if there is any excess skin there it'll take it off So this is my routine every single time. Without fail, this is what I do every single time. Um, the reason that I choose to do it this way is because my nails last. Um, I've had clients come back after six, seven weeks and all of their nails are still intact. I have left you a picture at the end of um, a before and after six weeks set. Um, so then you can see that they're all still intact. There was no lifting, there's no chips on either hand. There is only a picture of one hand, but both hands are exactly the same. I do from time to time post them on my Instagram as well. So then you can see them there. Um, I wouldn't advise that your client goes away and stays away for six, seven weeks at a time and let them grow it that far. Most definitely not. And I don't advise it to my clients either. But sometimes that is just the way they are. They want to do that. So yeah. Um, they do last, it always lasts. Um, you will get the odd client. I mean, do not ever beat yourself up if you do get a client that's got a nail that's lifting. It can be anything. Um, most of the time it's down to prep, but if the majority of your clients are lasting six to seven weeks, then it's not down to your prep. Usually it's definitely not down to your prep or something that you've forgotten. I always do it in a routine. So I always do all 10, I will file with my sanding band, all 10 I'll do with my burbit, all 10 I will do with my um, sanitizing spray and so on so forth so basically i know that i've done that to all 10 of them nails i'm not going to go away and forget to do one hand because i have a routine so it's good to have a routine when you're doing it um this is the way that i do it it's not necessarily the way that everyone should do it but this is my way and it works for me so when you find a way that works for you then definitely just stick with it that's what i have found out is that when you have got a way to do it and it works then don't change it um 
but when you do get the odd client it can be a bit disheartening um when they come back and say oh my nails popped off or whatever and then you can see that the nail plate is shiny so you know that it has popped off it doesn't always mean that it's down to your prep it can mean it's down to um hormone or medication or whatever so i mean you've got to take the rough with the smooth do you know what i'm saying yes so that's that um now i've finished all of my prep I'm going to apply my forms ready for application. The application of these nails was the white nails, the white diamond ones. Um, I will try and link in the video for that into this video when I upload, um, but I'm not a genius, <laughs> so I might not be able to do it, I'll try. Um, but it is the white set that is on my channel, so you can go and see um, the nails being applied as well on that other video. Um, all I'm doing when I'm applying these forms is making sure that they are secure and that they come straight out from the nail, so there's no gaps um, between the nail and the form itself. Get a nice round C curve. If you want a nice round C curve, then pinch your form a little bit more. If you want them wider then leave them out wider um it is pretty simple um once you get used to it they do just slide on and stay there so i hope this video was educational <laughs> <laughs> never done an educational video before um but yeah i hope this was useful to you and um i will see you again in my next one love you all bye